Not getting civilized is about having a savage mentality. Civilized is something where people, um, it's, a, it's, it's a comfortable world. A lot of us say, you know, like for instance, I see these athletes right now who retire, you know, I'm 38, you know, I'm 39, I did 20 years at the top of my game, and I'm chilling out now. You see them a year later, and how they look. What the hell just happened to you, dude? What the hell, you're one of the greatest athletes of all time. Kids looked up to you. Women, men of all ages looked up to you. And they hit the pinnacle where it's time to retire, and their mind says, I'm civilized. The worst thing that could ever happen to any human being is they become civilized. It's that total accountability. Like even when you retire, there's a motherfucker looking at me and judging me right now, man. I'm, I was the baddest person to ever live. It doesn't go away, man. You got to wake up. Even though you retired, you never retired. You're setting the example every single day of your life. And being civilized feels so good. I'm sorry, man. Once you get to the top, you may retire, but you ain't ever coming back home, man. Because now you're judged. People see you falling off. You want to be that guy who knows I may be retired from the sport or forever I did, but I'd be damned if you ever see me looking like shit, feeling like shit, not arriving. People, I've arrived. I've arrived mentality. You're always setting the example. Civilization feels so good. These comfortable feelings are what people want. They want retirement. They want that, they need that. They, it's, a, it's a yearning feeling. I want it too. People love putting a label on me about, my God, man, you're just wired different. I'm not fucking wired different, dude. I'm thinking right now, after I got past my stuttering thing, now I'm on a roll, I'm good now. You know what I'm thinking about right now? I gotta fucking wake up tomorrow and do the same shit again. I gotta leave this fucking interview and go stretch out for two and a half hours. I hate that shit. <laughs> but guess what it does though? I'm constantly callousing over my victim's mentality that I once had growing up. Every day you have to do this shit. Because why? When you stop doing it, you don't just maintain it. If you stop shooting a gun, you're not gonna be a great shot if you pick a gun up a year from now. The only way to keep from getting rusty is to constantly owe that motherfucking machine. The machine exists. You gotta keep challenging it every day. How do I do it? How am I able to do what I do on a daily basis? You know, how do I fight the demons? Because they hear me speak and I'm very raw and real. How do you fight my insecurities and all these things? And uh, I, they're there every day. They're there every day. Like you said, I'm in the search for a feeling. I'm not in the search for a trophy, I'm not in the search for love, I'm not in the search for more followers on Instagram or social media. When I started this journey years ago, and I realized that I'm going to be somebody, and I'm searching for a feeling, a feeling of true victory for myself, and only myself. The second I shut out the whole world and realized that one thing, that I am in this world alone, I'm fighting this race by myself. Yeah, I'm all about people, I'm all about team, I'm all about that shit. But I'm really all about right now and in my life, just like you said, no one knows the real truth about me, how hard I really go. I don't care if anybody knows. I don't want anybody to know. I'm an introvert. I live an introverted life. 